much. Uh, All right, there we there go. We go. I, I totally here. fucked something up. We're back. No, I had <laughs> to like back, give baby. you permission. Oh, really? Like, what it was? Yeah, they're like, do you want to let them do this? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and then, like your know, last chance. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, welcome to the podcast, Kyle's County. Uh, Kyle's County, TikTok baby, and TikTok and Instagram renowned comic artist. Oh Kyle's yeah, County. you know. Uh, me. We were just talking about before we started recording, like your well i i didn't even know about the tiktok that's insane but the your growth on instagram is insane because i cannot grow on instagram it feels like it t- it's so slow um yeah you get to yeah. 50k on instagram is like how what's the secret dude how the hell did you when did that? you start out of curiosity so probably at the start of summer i was sitting at 2000 instagram followers i think dang and had like a hundred thousand on TikTok, but that doesn't like switch back and forth. So it's kind of like, all right, I have this Instagram. But basically, how I grew was like, I just started. So like, when you post a reel on Instagram, you can choose whether you want to have it on your like, on your like actual like main screen, or mm-hmm. if you just want to have it under like a separate like reel section. So I just started like shit posting reels essentially. And then, like, yeah. gradually, those just get, like, a ton of views. You talking, so like, comedic like, posts, or just, this was still just comics? Just comics. Posting. Like, oh, it's word. straight up just, like, I take, like, each frame would have, like, 2.5 seconds. And then just, like, played, like, some random, like, Earthbound song behind it. And then, That's like... Powerful. powerful. Yeah. Powerful. <laughs> I, fig- I figured it would work on TikTok, so I'm like, I'll try doing it on Instagram. And then, yeah, it, like, really worked. So damn, I yeah, stopped dude. doing it as much in the past like two weeks just because I hit fifty k and I was like, all right, I need to take a break. But yeah, that that, uh, that bro, are you good. uh, are you a musician? No, I'm not. Okay. I do like music though. What's with the? Is that just like a podcast mic stand behind? Oh, you? this this is a lamp. I'm so <laughs> stupid, bro. Yeah, the night the night quills kicked in. The night quills oh, kicked cool. in, bro. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. I mean, well, the the we were talking about tiktok also and i keep hearing from like we had rusty cage on and he was telling us like you got to get on tiktok i have people messaging me every like that are just like dude you should really be posting to tiktok that's how it's the only way to blow up that's how you like get huge but i'm like i'm just too old like i cannot figure literally it out no. it feels like i'm don't like i don't belong here <laughs> when i'm on yeah there. yeah but what you know. said earlier too is i don't think it translates over well either it doesn't like, translate to anything yeah like no. if you're already famous and then you get a tiktok it's like okay now you're just famous and have a tiktok but then if you're tiktok famous like that just doesn't mean anything unless you're like addison ray or something true that is so <laughs> like yeah that's right the, but your what, what was your formula you would just post the comics as is or yeah like i yeah i can like I don't, I don't know if like i can pull one up on my phone yeah and just I, play we're it. a big fan of yeah holding your phone <laughs> holding up to the a, screen honestly and, we uh, do that a little too much on this <laughs> podcast but I, was, I wasn't sure if that was like professional but there's Dude, we've promised so many times like <laughs> once we hit 1k once we do this we're gonna like get it professional and we're still just like Hey, hey, look at this happened. cat! Yeah. I found a picture. You, got, you like hit the milestones while doing it the easy way. Yeah. So oh, yeah, why change go. it? There we go. All right. But, let's yeah. See the TikTok. Literally just like this. Oh, okay. And with the is there music playing too? Yeah. It's like literally just like ambient noise. Oh, I don't dude. know if you can hear it. Do you stick with uh, Earthbound? Are you like a fan of that? Oh, I love Earthbound, but not not always. I, I mix it up sometimes. I think there's a Daft Punk song that I use and like a oh, Fantasia hell one. Hell so yeah. it's just like random shit. Dude, that Dude. album is unreal, bro. Plantasia. Dude, I have it on it vinyl. Good. That's oh, do you so really? sick. That yeah, sick. I could pull it out real quick. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I got like violently angry at my girlfriend the other day because I was like, that album's so ahead of its time. And she was like, no, it's not. And I was like, dog, I will kill you. <laughs> like, that, that came out in like the 60s or 70s, right? Dude, it's crazy. It's it old as nuts. Fuck. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like way ahead of its time. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I could be wrong. I do have to apologize to the listeners. I'm drinking. I've just taken two <laughs> NyQuil's <laughs> about 30 minutes ago. I'm sick as hell, dog. 
yeah. I'm struggling to fight through it. Damn, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, I uh I'm I'm actually sober this podcast, so I'll hold it together for the rest of it. I'm technically I'm LA sober because I haven't done cocaine today. So I'm technically <laughs> sober, 100 percent That's good. Uh yeah. also Kyle, how did you when did you start with the like the rabbits did you did you come out swinging with that or did you feel like you had to like come up with the characters over time to see which like what clicked well the first thing that i did was literally just like semicircles and two dots and that's like that's like two years ago that's like quarantine okay like that's what i started out on tiktok guys so i did that for a while and then i randomly drew a bunny and i was just like all right this is what i'm gonna do now that's good dude yeah i mean you have a really distinct like it's instantly recognizable like the, the the bunnies itself but also on the post-it notes is very very cool yeah it's yeah there, as hell there's been people kind of jacking my my jacking post-it note stuff yeah it's um, like it's like funny because but yeah bro, I, name I like name it. their accounts the cold cuts audience will, will find them, them and we will kill them yeah they will be <laughs> killed it <laughs> just uh <laughs> dox them uh internet's kind of bugging here you got a question harris i feel like i tread it on you once again no no sorry i feel like my internet is kind of like cutting in and out a bit but what i was gonna say was what i like about the uh uh, what i like about your the post-it note comics is like the characters are very cute but like there's ones where it's just like or the one where he's just like take your shoes off or something like that or take your socks off Oh shit! I need to find that one. <laughs> That's a classic one. Like I, the the actual jokes are really funny. I think like the, I always just love that style. Like kind of just like the simple drawings, but uh, the jokes slap. Yeah, shit's good. Yeah, I appreciate do a, it. Do you uh, do you have a big vinyl collection? I have a decently big one. I was looking for the album, but trying to multitask. Uh, I thought I was gonna. I right. thought I was like rubbing my mic against my shirt though. I was like, oh, that's no, probably not good, the best. That's but cool. yeah, I have a pretty big one. Do you guys do vinyl? Yeah, I got a little vinyl collection in the. Let's see, can you see that? It's like where they're sitting right now. Oh, oh brother! Right up here. But, Dude, my um, uh, player sucks so much ass. My chick bought me like one of those cheap ones on Amazon. So whenever I buy an album, there's like a fifty percent chance it just doesn't work. Like it's, oh really? It it'll just skip, oh, or like really? play it too fast. I'm just like, bruh. Sometimes I'll like play something and I'll just hear it scratching the record as it like plays oh. through. And I'm you, dude. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I just spent like thirty bucks on this. Please, please don't Destroy break it. The dude, the, the the work. The thing with my thing, I actually have like a nice. I don't have a bad setup. Like the actual, uh, what do you call it? Like the the record player isn't bad. But the all right, I'm gonna do a little. Is the pumpkin new, bro? Here, actually, because this has never been shown on podcast. But I had these giant. Th- these are these are speakers. I don't know if you could tell this bro. whole black oh, box shit. right here. It's speakers that my friend's dad was going to throw away. It's I'm basically using it as a shelving unit, and it's like he was going to throw them away. He used to be in a band back in like the '80s, and he was getting rid of them. And I was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing with these? And he was like, oh, I got a new, like, setup for my, because he has a crazy vinyl collection. He's like, I got a nice new set of speakers. So these are just big, and I don't know what to do with them. And I was like, well, I'll I'll take them. Like, do they work? And he's like, yeah, they work. They're just, like, too loud. to Like, they're, they're, I was using, he was using them when they were touring. Like, you're supposed to plug, it's like an amp. Like, you plug yeah, the guitar yeah. in. Uh-huh. And they they work like 75% of the time but the problem with them is that first of all they take up so much fucking room and i'm literally using them at like the tiniest quarter centimeter <laughs> turned up like if i had them at full volume i think it would like level my neighborhood <laughs> like they're just way too big so i need to do away with them but uh right but just... the problem oh, is if I, if I get rid of them now i just have nowhere to it's like my shelf. Like I don't. I'll have to. Like all my shit will just be on the floor. So yeah. See, that's it. like when I fucking. Oh my god! I used to be so embarrassed, bro. I moved to the first time I went to Elon. Right. The uh-huh. Harris and I went to the same college, but my mm-hmm. mom was like, I had like no furniture, and she was like, "Let me show you what we used to do when I was in college." 
and we bought like a cinder block and a piece of wood. And then we also used like moving boxes and then we would drape stuff on top of it. So we, it would be like makeshift shelves and stuff. And she was like, uh-huh. isn't this so cool? And I remember like the <laughs> first three months while I had this shitty furniture, I was so embarrassed anytime like a chick or someone came over. Cause it literally looked like I was like <laughs> destitute, dude. Like everything, all my <laughs> like so eating cool. tables were like cinder blocks. It was like That's so classic. fucking cringe, bro. I hated That's it. That's classic. Uh, I always get criticized, but like occasionally I'll have, if I, go to like a family function or something like my uncle or something would be like oh i've watched a couple episodes of your podcast and i'm like first of all all of the times <laughs> flash in my head where i'm just like how many times have we talked about rouge the bats like tits oh yeah the <laughs> and then yeah. i'm like and then but he'll just be like he'll just be like you really should consider getting like a backdrop because it, it's like <laughs> i'm just looking into your like dirty closet area and i was like it's probably like not a bad idea but wouldn't it be kind of corny if i just had some fucking like (laughs) you'd have to do something cool bro everyone does the like late night talk show host background that was like i dude i hate that bro it's (laughs) so (laughs) crazy uh dude, you could have like nice rogue set up. spreading her ass cheeks like right behind that'd you. be good have, like, well i that asshole i kind of did try to spice things up because i have the mf doom and dude, i have the Kowals. i have Kowals. <laughs> <It's so fucking laughs> that's, that's like crazy combo pretty much as good as a, as i can get but um yeah I, I was actually also just while we're on the topic of music i actually picked up my guitar for the first time today in like a fucking year i haven't played guitar in so fucking long but i was like oh let me just uh like see if i you know see if this thing still works and i feel like i lost all the ability that i had before i started the comics thing i was practicing guitar every day and i actually got like halfway decent and i feel like it's all out the window because i just did not stick with it bro i don't know you've got a girlfriend there's no reason to play guitar you're, to- <laughs> yes, you're, not you're totally guitar. sad bro. there's no do you guys play instruments? Did I play violin for twelve years? Oh, baby. I knew, I knew you were baby. a violinist. Yeah. No, I also Why'd got like a. I I still occasionally do it, but I remember in, at Elon when we were at that college, I got so high one day and went to a violin shop and just bought a violin, <laughs> and I've like still had it with oh, me. That's I still lit. play it a little bit, but uh, dude, I got into ukulele, bro, which I regret. Ukulele is fresh, dude, but if you're not Hawaiian, it is the most Reddit instrument, like, playing <laughs> ukulele. Like, you just feel like a Reddit board, bro. It's so I kind of, I cut back on that a little bit, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it got co-opted by the Redditors. 100%, it, bro. It, dude, it, Kyle, you cool. should, uh, you should get into music, bro. I feel like you look like every One Direction band member, <laughs> like, fused into one character. In a good way. They're, they're handsome, good gentlemen. Way. They're In handsome. A good way. Just a white guy. Yeah, just a white with, guy. Uh, <laughs> with the um, light brown hair. Is there, um, speaking of One Direction, is there some shit going on in England right now? Because I just logged into Twitter and yeah, the, everybody's bitching about Twitter. About, the PM uh, Liz Truss resigned or whatever. Why? Prime Minister. What did she do? Uh, I, I don't know. Apparently she like came in, the queen died, she caused economic collapse. And then like a month ago, she was like, I will not give up. And then someone cut it with today's video where she's like, I am <laughs> resigning. And then immediately just like walks away. It's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, God. I wonder if they like, do they have memes out there the same way we have like Trump and Biden memes here where it's like Obama or like shit or Obama. like, dude. <laughs> I, I think Americans make the memes for them. Yeah. 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 Like if they're out there, I don't think English people are making them. Dude, they're living memes, bro. <laughs> I feel Honestly. like 100%, bro. They eat beans on toast. Their chicks look like Thomas the Tank Engine in, like, bro, drag makeup. It's so weird. Yeah. Have you had an English breakfast? Dude, yeah, I I remember nice. having it one time and not being... I hate... that. Does, it comes with a roasted tomato, right? Or am I confusing that yeah. with a Scottish? Dude, yeah. first of all, tomatoes should never be warm. Okay? They're a what? cold veg. Dude, I hate warm tomato. Unless it's, Why? like spaghetti sauce yeah. i don't know dude i feel like i'm biting into like the heart of my enemy when i'm eating like a full <laughs> warm tomato it just feels yeah, well, so weird yeah just like eating one plain yeah, yeah. I like that's absurd yeah, that's kind of nasty yeah not for I li- me i like english breakfast though i actually don't mind i know that like i know english people get clowned on for putting beans on toast but it's like it's not ba- it's not that it's not bad. bad it's not it's bad. like plain yeah it's like, like it's not something that i'd like want 
No, I think that that's like, the thing, though. They want that. That's like a craving. Right. Like when we're craving like an Oreo or something, they're like, I wish I had beans on toast right oh now, which God. is like, bro, dream bigger, dream Dude, bigger, you, dog. You know, you know what I've been munching on right here? You These flips this? pretzels again. It's chocolate. Oh, dude, you were eating one of these when I railed you in I got Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. And the problem with the... Have you had these before? Yeah, they're no. the wafers, right? Or no? Dude, they're so what fucking good. This one has like a... a it, they come in like a bunch of different varieties, but this one has like a cookie or like a biscuit in it. But they're all this size. They're all this like square shape. And it's a shame because like... I think it's supposed to feed like a family of four, but it's impossible not to eat the entire thing in one go. It's just so good. Are they British? I think it's like Dutch, or it ha it, it says on the back here like ch chocolatin z. Like oh yeah, that looks Dutch, Dutch, bro. I don't know the what the fucking fuck that is. made up language. <laughs> yeah, like like <laughs> I love those German words that they just mush all together into like one. Dude, Dutch thing. is the worst. I I should have sent it to you because you're a RuPaul fan. But there was like I think it's the word for customer service is like Servin Kunten <laughs> yeah. or something, and it's just like this is not a real language. I like you guys are real. making shit up. Cannot be real. Um, oh, I was gonna ask you this, Kyle. Because we were talking about memes and like America being the primary export for British memes, you know who actually makes the fucking most fire memes? It's not America. It's an untapped market. India. No, <laughs> yeah, no, you are you are right, <laughs> dude. dude they, the memes? videos of the guys that are like, like my style, my attitude, and there's like a giant <laughs> like exploding helicopter. Do you know those videos? Yes. <laughs> so good like i i don't even know how the fuck they do it like but yeah so like my favorite meme on tiktok i don't know where they like get the apps or like if they <laughs> just like put it in premiere or something yeah so good Dude, Dude, what is up with that like if indian people were a world of warcraft character they seem to have like an intrinsic like stat boost to being able to do graphic design stuff like like there's they're so editing. fucking good at it dude yeah like, Oh. Uh, I don't know if these guys are Indian, um, but I love the one. I love the. It's it's not a video. It's a picture of the guys that are just like Salman is no longer my best friend. Now, oh, yeah, this yeah. guy is my <laughs> best friend. Uh, that shit is just class. So many classic ones, but that's like the good side of TikTok. Like you, when when you get to, like you know you're on the good side of TikTok when it's just feeding you videos that have like sub 2000 likes and you're kind of just like it's like weird android film or in a different language or you really got to work to get there but that's the good side okay. it's like not there anymore though like Why? that's the said that i don't know just either they got like blocked or their country banned tiktok or like damn that fucking sucks man no that's that's why everybody got rid of it yeah, to be Dude, fair, just TikTok I dying been on there in a while. I mean, I don't think like from a number standpoint, no, but like as like a popular app, probably a little bit. Yeah. But like yeah. it's just a bunch of like middle schoolers on there. So like they're gonna keep using it. Yeah, it's true. I feel like there's I feel like whatever now that I'm kind of like, okay, I'm on Twitter, I missed the boat completely on TikTok, but I'm I'm kind of like, okay, whatever the next thing is. I'm going to try to jump and be one of those first people. Gab.com, bro. You got to get on Gab. gab. You got to get on Gab. gab. <laughs> but uh, but it feels like there is kind of, it's been a while since we've had like a new one. Because TikTok, TikTok's old now. I mean, yeah, it, it, it kind of went through, like, it, it got more and more popular where first I was hearing about it. And I was like, well, that sounds dumb. And then I finally got it. And everybody was on it, and it, and I was like, "Holy shit, this app is actually like really fucking dope." Like some of the best memes that I had ever seen were on there. And then I like, I don't know, it kind of the sun set, and now it feels like there's sort of this open area where something new could come out. I, I just don't know what else like could be done. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, now people are talking about this be real shit, but that's not really what like is be you, real. Have you heard? Be real is not good. What it is it? It's basically like I think your phone notifies you at some rent. It's actually a funny concept. 
it's like it, it basically notifies you at some point in the day completely random and it's like you have 20 seconds to take a photo <laughs> of yourself from the the front facing camera and your like selfie camera basically and you have to and you have to take like both pictures right away and it's and then it sends it to all your friends basically so like <laughs> wherever you are and whatever you're doing is just like what you have to take a photo of so but it's just like i had friends that were telling me to do that but i'm like dude 24 hours a day i am literally sitting right here like drawing like there's no reason yeah. for me to do it because it would just be like fucking lame like don't want anyone to know that i just sit in my room all day yeah <laughs> like, literally, i'd probably be yeah. shitting with my luck i'm like every fucking time i got the thing <laughs> like, dude apparently yeah. elon is working on a uh a new mega app or like he's been talking about it but it's called x but it's supposed okay. to be like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok all wrapped into one. But, dude, e yeah, every time one of these comes out, the people who make it are like, dude, this is all the biggest apps combined into one. Like, this is all you're going to need. Yeah. That's what Instagram is already, though. Instagram dude. has gone so, dude, I fucking. It's like. Bro, how do you feel about yeah. Instagram? Do you do you Twitter or you're just big on Insta right now? I'm just big on Instagram right now. And I guess TikTok, but I don't really post. Dude, I would Instagram. highly recommend, especially if you, you want to stick with the comic stuff. Twitter is so, so much better, dude. Yeah. For, I keep for comics, I, bro. I can't I, stress. It is, yeah. I keep thinking about doing it. And I'm like, I don't even know how to do it. So it's like. Do dude, I just hop in, bro. I literally, dude, Harris used to be the same way. I literally had to like drag him kicking and screaming it's onto true. Twitter. But now he's like the king of Twitter. Everyone knows him, bro. No, no, no. Mr. Big like League. I uh I did I actually did want to pop bubbly, but I, I don't have anything to drink. But I did just break 50k on Twitter. So bro, Ooh. I'll have some of this terrible tequila. Bro, this yeah, tequila enjoy. I'm drinking, this is so embarrassing. I Jesus. thought it was just like regular tequila, but uh and I have like six of them, dude, but it's from that. What is that terrible Nick Kroll show that's all about fantasy football? The oh, league. the league. Yeah, they make like a fake alcohol in that show. So then they made it in real life. And it's like, dude, it's I literally feel like I'm even, drinking Reddit, bro. Why do you even have it? Because <laughs> at my old job, we did like a, a premiere thing for them. So then we had like 300 extra bottles. It's dude, it's so crazy. Does it, does it have like one of the drawings of like one of those hideous big mouth characters on it? Pretty like, much. And then the back is all like, uh, we call this Trace Gamas because it sounds sophisticated. Like, they're trying to be funny, and it's like, dude, I can't upvote you. I know you want Reddit karma points for being funny on the back of your bottle, but I can't I can't upvote yeah, you. I'm it. sorry. Yeah, Kill yourself. It. Yeah. Literally. It, it is crazy, though, with, like, these different, with the different social media platforms, how there are, there are people who are just, like, crazy. They, they do crazy numbers on Instagram. There's, and then there's people who do crazy numbers on Twitter or TikTok or, or Reddit. Honestly, it's like, like I, you, people do find their little like corner niche. of the internet, their little niche. Yeah. But I just, what I hate about Instagram versus Twitter and it, Twitter is like, I think it's the reason Twitter sucks, but it's also the reason that it's better than the other ones. In my opinion is people have so much more freedom in the comments because when you're when you're on Twitter and you're commenting on something, that comment is basically just a, a new tweet. You know what I mean? Mm, so you yeah. can post a photo, a video, you can respond any way you want, basically. And I think like that's why I love posting to Twitter because the replies will be really funny a lot of the time. Like some of the shit that people say or post, but you people are limited in their Instagram replies, which like it's like it's still nice but it just it's like you don't you don't get that like level of engagement that i'd love i can also yeah. post my ass on twitter bro i did that, that one time true. on instant they fucking almost nuked my account nuked, i was like bro what it. the fuck that's crazy i'll fight you that's yeah, this crazy. is uh this is a pertinent good question for kyle i think okay um, dude we've had this question a few times from a few viewers and uh what do you think is the key to not not like success necessarily, but like building an audience when you're doing comics or even content in general. But here's a stipulation. A, a lot of the times when they ask this question, they say, what advice can you give aside from being consistent? Because I feel like that is the most important, but I mm -hmm. feel like they're kind of sick of hearing us say that. Do you would give us the fast three Kyle tips? I'd say 
be like visually unique enough to the point oh, where it's like sure. if yeah. you see the that's thing definitely. twice then you're going to be like oh i've seen this twice i should follow them like i think mm-hmm. that's really important um what else is important kind of teeter along the line when you're starting out of like will this get me banned because that that's worked really well for me just like doing like really like out of pocket like fucked up stuff dude i and haven't just... seen I'm, i might have to scroll back further through your account but uh Give me an example of that. Were you, you were all your comics calling the bunny the N word or what? what no, exactly? no, 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 don't, don't like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no hate crimes. Just like, I, it was just like, there were a lot about just like fucking your dad and stuff. And bro, people went dude, really crazy for that, that was my go to joke when I first started. Dad, really? fucking. Yeah. that's like a dude, yes, that's like it works classic, day. dude. That's crazy. Yeah, people are just like, oh my god so real and then like common whoever w and it's like <laughs> that comment's annoying but it's a comment i guess <laughs> but uh, yeah that would be did my you, advice. when did you feel like did you feel like there was a time that you were like like oh shit this is popping off like when you start like when you started because you said it was kind of it was sounds like it was pretty fast like you were posting some stuff and then it kind of started taking <laughs> off like was there a specific comic or or like a period of time that you remember that you were like oh shit this is kind of this is like growing much faster than i expected there yeah with instagram and tiktok both it was like there were kind of like these like three weeks at like separate times where i gained mm-hmm. like just 50k oh baby that's and crazy. followers like, or likes you're saying followers okay Dang. yeah because like it was like your account's reaching two or like three million people and you have fifty thousand it was like oh shit okay um i don't know i kind of felt like past 10k like the audience feels the same size to an extent though yeah Yeah. i think i was telling you that harris once you hit like 10k it feels like very smooth sailing on insta because uh up until then it's it really felt like a grind for me like it really felt fucking shitty and and i still fucking hate instagram compared to uh Twitter, bro, you got you got to get on Twitter, Kyle. Right after I'll this, get on Twitter. make a little account. It's For so real, much man. more yeah. fun, bro. It's I so have much one. I just haven't posted anything on it. Yeah, I think, it, dude. Honestly, I think if you started posting there, you'd be surprised. Like, people would really like the style of stuff that yeah. you post on. Especially, there. you know, I'm looking at them now, but this rabbit comment comic where the rabbits like why do why are most banks owned by jewish people you know i feel like that one that could do very well don't, don't do them yeah. like that don't do them like that for sure uh, i was i was like wait whoa, <laughs> wait, wait, whoa. i don't remember that one. i forgot about that one <laughs> did that one in a day i deleted that one um I, I i've been i noticed a couple times like i'll have somebody message me and be like dude i just saw your comic on tiktok but like somebody else posted it or whatever and on, and honestly i'm like i would just prefer that like i don't even want to have to deal with my own tiktok account don't get on tiktok it, it, it's just like it's just it's like you said I, maybe we said it before we started recording but it's just like another social media like i'm already spending so much time on twitter and instagram and all it's like i do i really need to put another one on there to, to i don't know but yeah i think for me tiktok worked really well with the sticky notes so mm-hmm. like that was kind of why I was like, all right, I can keep doing this if I'm making the sticky notes anyways. I can just like post it. Dude, your stuff is usually multi-panel, right? Yeah. Or, or is it, dude? Have you considered? I, I mean, I think we've spent thirty minutes already on this pod shitting on TikTok, but I could see it being <laughs> kind of cool if you had them on top of each other and then like pulled them off to like read through oh, it. Like Does a, that make sense? Oh yeah, like a, as a video format. Yeah. I just I I hate like showing people my hands for some reason. Really? (laughs) Yeah, it's like a weird that like. What do you What do you feel wrong? Mine, dude. I hate my hands. They're stubby as hell, and they're like half the size of everyone's. Well, I don't care like this way, but like I don't want to like show people like my like fingernails like up close. Are you a biter? (laughs) No, like they're Uh, fine. They're just fingernails. But like I hate seeing people's like close up like nasty ass fingernails. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. Like maybe, maybe you could wear like uh you could wear like satin gloves 
Or like, what? Dude, what? Yeah. <laughs> that would that be one. so f- The ones like up to your fucking elbows. Yeah. They're like it. a feminine and fucking fruity, dude. That would be so baller. Or you, no or, shirt. Just like, I wonder if you could also. <laughs> like, what if you actually played it up and you got like some prosthetic rubber glove that was like some hideous, like ogre oh. hand with like. And, and like, you're like peeling the things away and people are like. Yeah, that comic's cool, but like, let's go, Please to, go to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, have you uh, guys seen the? Have you seen the picture of like? Um, I think it was posted to Four Chan. Uh, that was like, oh is a, some guy that was like, dude, an, that'd be another great night in. <laughs> and it's like he's, it's like he's holding a a Blu-ray copy of like Mad Max Fury Road. But first of all, like his hand is like bulbous and like green <laughs> and like you can see just in the back like he's holding the the thing but it, his actual room just looks like this like shitty mattress on a <laughs> on the floor of like a dungeon and like all the comments in the thread are just like wait whoa 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 like, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck oh my god it's such a funny thread I got it. I got it. Dude, I thought you were going to bring up the. uh, There's a thread on V where a guy was like, it was a black guy holding a black PS4 controller, like, who wants to game or whatever. And someone was like, this is a whites only 4chan board, bro. And then he he put on like a rubber glove, like a doctor's (laughs) rubber glove that's white. And like retook the picture or whatever, but oh, it kills oh, me. Classic. I love how we talk about 4chan memes or random memes we've seen <laughs> like twenty like, percent of the podcast. It's like old. I mean, that's like what the podcast is about, basically, right? Describe this meme to you. I've seen in detail, <laughs> bro. In yeah. the last minute, thirty seconds, I do have to reveal something real quick. I'm Go ahead. Grab it. All right, let's see. I think I know what he's gonna show. But I don't want to spoil it. What we got? The they came in, baby. Oh. The yellow slag beetle Moses trading cards have come in. There's uh I think <laughs> over 55 different cards, bro. We went crazy. I'm dude. so fucking psyched, dude. It was a long time coming. Long time coming, bro. We got the we got some beautiful cards. We got the multiverse baby Hitler. Multiverse baby. A classic. There's also an Osama bin baby in there. We'll definitely post a uh <laughs> A teaser of them, I think, probably like tomorrow or something. But uh, I think the goal is to launch those end of the month, dude. We'll get Kyle in the next set. We'll commission yeah, you great. for a uh, a card. That'd be fucking bro. great. I'd be so down. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Um, uh, dude, I'm gonna take a quick sig break before I resend this to you guys, and we'll do. Uh, I'm bound, dude. The tequila. I'm bouncing back. I was feeling very spacey earlier, but I, I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I think I'm glad back to in hear this. it. Yeah, excellent. all right. Glad to hear it. Uh, you got a joke uh, to bring us out with, Harris? Yeah, here's a joke for you. So, did I tell you the Brie Larson one already? I, yeah, you did get to that. One. Okay, let me try. One. Okay, let me try a different one. So, we're back. We're back. We are back. We're back with Mr. Kyle, Mr. Babu. Uh, Bro, have you worked any? Uh, you're a younger guy. Have you worked any? Uh, we were just talking about before I slapped record, like uh, food food type gigs. Are you are you a neat? Gig. No, I haven't worked a food gig. I've worked a bunch of random ass jobs though. Very you crispy re- retail. I did read. I worked at a toy store for a while. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Pretty tight. Yeah, it was like eight dollars an hour though. So that sucked. That's but... that's not tight. Yeah, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that sounds like a cool place at least to work. Did you get cool toys? <laughs> it was like it was like stuff that I grew up with, so I could like talk about them. So that was cool. Like, oh, that's uh, you ever play what, what's that game called Rush Hour or whatever, where you like move the truck? Oh yes, oh, dude. Yeah, 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 I used to play that shit. <laughs> Dude, I'd sold so many of those because, like, it was the only thing in there that I could talk about. I was like, "Yes, yeah, this, this game's sick." Like, totally <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I had this idea that's like been sitting in my notes for a comic for a long time that I just don't know. I don't know how to flesh it out. Maybe even the viewers at home can give me like a recommendation. But I wanted to do something where it's like you know how in Harry Potter uh they're playing wizards chess where it's like really dramatic and they're on like a giant statue of a horse and then like ron gets fucking like hit with a sword and like it explodes and all this crazy shit like i was 
trying to imagine like what's a funny wizard board game that they could be playing instead of chess. You cut like, out a little some bit. Shitty like '90s game. Oh, I was I was I was saying like what's like some board game like a wizard version of a board game that they could be playing that's like funny like not chess but some like like did you guys ever play mousetrap as a kid yeah you know that is or like Mm -hmm. some like some shitty funny hasbro board game but mousetrap isn't right it needs to be like something gay right yeah it's gonna be something Something fruity i don't know what i don't know what yeah you can make it an anti-joke it's uh like wizard twister and it's just the same exact oh that's pretty good game or whatever. <laughs> it's the same thing yeah just huge it's or like, like wizard <laughs> monopoly and the only thing is that the pieces are like a wizard hat yeah or something good. and the game still sucks ass dude that's fuck good. monopoly bro monopoly's good I no like it monopoly. is dude yeah, if you yeah. play it like the fake way or like do it with like your buddies a little bit but anytime i play a real version of it i feel like i'm playing risk it's like a game that goes on for like six hours or some shit and i'm just like by the end dude. of it, I'm like, dude, take my money. I don't dude, care. Talk, talking about six hour games. Did you do you guys play Settlers of Catan? Did you ever play that one? Yeah, yeah. dude. Reddit alert. Reddit alert. It that game Reddit. sounds very Reddit. It, dude, my my some of my buddies are obsessed with that game, and they're always like, anytime we're together, they're like, Catan. You want to play Catan? And I'm like, dude, what time is it? Because like, <laughs> I, like I'm, I got to get home before fucking like 10 p.m. And it's like, like it's like. It is such a long fucking game. It is really fun, but it's just like... Uh, Kyle, is it like the Civ it? game? Yeah, r- give me the rundown. You okay. like build a city? It's actually really fun. It's basically like you it, you got this map which is randomized every time because you put, put down these pieces that are different materials and uh, and like a number on each one. And you're rolling dice. And if you have a little like a little house that's on like let's say it's on a material that's like brick or something and then you roll an eight and there's an eight on the brick you get that material so you're collecting them so you can build more roads and villages and and settlements and shit like that and you're trying each each uh settlement is a point and you're trying to be the first one to 10 points but there's a lot of like trading where it's like oh i need three sheep like i'll give you two brick for three sheep with like the and the other person will be like deliberating if whether or not they want to actually do it. can you fight each other N- no, no it's not fighting it's just like it's just trading and like collecting materials but it gets okay it gets highly competitive towards the end if like two people are really close to 10 points it gets a little feisty at least in my friend group it is fun but it's only fun if like you're winning <laughs> yeah because there's kind of like a certain part of the game like probably after like 20 minutes you kind of know if you have a chance or not it's true yeah so it's like if you have no chance yeah oh here's another board game have you guys ever played secret hitler have you ever played that no what is that dude you play that one too dude that is a a, weird one it's a good board game but that i like it like it's fun but it's it's crazy it's basically like it's a game of like lying. So like at the beginning of the game, everybody like the simplified version, but everybody's given like an envelope, and it says whether you're a fascist or a commie. The other one, yeah, or a commie or a liberal. I think it's a liberal or a fascist. Oh, word. And then <laughs> and then and then there's two fascists, and one of them is Hitler. But it's basically like everybody's eyes are closed, and at the beginning, the fascist and Hitler like give each other like a look. So they know the other one, but then the game begins and nobody knows who, and you're trying to, the long and short of it is that you're both, both of you, like, everybody's trying to reach a certain goal. And, um, it's a lot of like lying and deceit. It's super fun, but that one gets feisty also. I love board games. I'm just like a game nerd kind of, I do like that shit. Bruh. I can't lie. Bruh. <laughs> I can't lie. Dude, uh. I'm I'm curious, Kyle, because this this has been happening to Harris recently, and uh, your stuff is like his to me. Like I, I know some of it can get like a little edgy. Okay, some of Harris's edgy. can get a little edgy too. But uh, there. I'm all, I'm shocked because Harris has been getting like a little bit of like not hate, but like a lot of just like rando jerks kind of in like the comments on some things which is kind of funny too because that happens to me all the time but uh do you go through that ever 
Do you get any um, like weirdo haters or someone who will like you'll draw a bunny drinking a glass of water and they're like racist? We're like it just doesn't make sense. I yeah, I mean I think a lot of the times it's like I'm kind of making fun of a dude just like being like a dick to a girl. Like I I did this one where Beast. it was like this dude was like <laughs> It was like literally like the bunny was like mad at the girl for like not shaving or something random. And then like people were like heated at me for it. They were like, really? That's so fucked up. I'm like, because I put it on reels. I didn't actually post it because I thought it was a shitty comic. So I just like threw it on reels and was like, if this gets traction, great. But like, yeah, no, there were like people like really pissed. They're like, you fucking, like, fuck you. I'm like, you. You don't get the like. Obviously, that doesn't. Were they like yeah, follower not... types or like randos? No. Randos okay. yeah, yeah. that it's just like randos. popped up on reels. That's crazy. Do you get weird with my... comments on TikTok? Like, do you? Because TikTok, you have a really big audience. Do you get like people saying some crazy shit on there? I used to. Um, I mean, it was there was kind of that like phase where like TikTok comments were like a meme. So yeah. people would just try to be like as mean as possible to each other in the comments. Like it's so it's tough with the comics because you can't like make fun of my face, so it's not going to be that funny. Uh-huh. But hands. like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I don't put my hands in there. Yeah. I'm not trying to ten steps ahead, baby. Exactly. Ten steps ahead. I knew it. you got to do the glove idea, bro. That is so fucking funny. Yeah, it's so good. good. Yeah. It's like very fancy. Or just the, like uh, whisper into the mic too. <laughs> That'd be really good. The ASMR. Dude, what is well it feels like also it's kind of like passe now. Like I don't really hear people talking about it anymore, but I did not understand the ASMR thing. Like I don't get it. It actually kind of gives me like like the bad kind of goosebumps where I'm just like, yeah, oh, I don't like, like, it. like it gives me like I don't I hate ASMR. I don't know why it was it felt like it was like two or three years that it was like everywhere. And everybody was doing ASMR. I do like, I have to admit, for some reason, usually cats, but a lot of other animals, when they sniff. (laughs) I love dude, that's like the one ASMR where I'm like, inject it into my veins. Like I fucking love it. But uh dude, and I there seems to be like a I don't even know if it's the sounds or it's like a visual ASMR, but a really big one I see now too is where they're like playing with goop or like the I common one I hate. Goop. Yes, dude. Yeah, or what about dude, the they, where they're that. cutting soaps? No, that stuff too. That's a good bar of soap, dude. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing with this? Yeah, I yeah. fucking hate that shit, bro. I don't get the appeal, bro. You have to be like some brain dead porridge brain. You know what? The, the type of person hating on your comics are about the bunny needing the to bit. shave. That they're ASMR fans, guaranteed. No, they are. Like that's like edgy bad. comedy to them. I feel like it's like ASMR fans, and then like the people who make those like uh what are they called like the pamphlet things that people put on their stories oh the chick tracks yeah no what what, what are the pamphlet you know, things the whatever like the social awareness ones where it's like oh how you yes can help, like whatever whatever and then yeah. it's just like the most brain dead like post a black square <laughs> on oh, instagram yeah, oh I, I dude i remember that phase i thought you were talking about the chick tracks bro because someone left one at my door the other day and it was like a blast from the past you know what i'm talking about Harris? no what is that Chick Tracks, it was this guy, his last name was Chick, I think, but we should make one, by the way, this would be so funny, but it's those little rectangular books you get that are like, they're from some sort of church, Christian church, but it's like about a man finding out he's going to go to hell, and it's, you're a sinner, but you can come back, yeah, like that type of shit, but uh, I got one the other day, and I was just like, they're so funny, dude. They're really weird. They're always so funny. They always start with a dude, like, making fun of his wife, and then they're in, like, a car crash, (laughs) Or something, and it's just like, this is so fucking funny. Yeah, I went to, there's there's a place in Florida, it's not even very close to me, but there's a place called Faith Farm, which is near me-ish, that's like a, um, it's a furniture, it's a second-hand furniture, like, oh, hell yeah, I would say a store, but it's like, they have like, it's like a fucking acre of land, like, it's all, it's like outside, and there's so much fucking furniture, and they'll sell you like a full sofa for like ten dollars. It's it's great, and they have a ton of like cool vintage, like weird desks and shit like that. And uh, when I first moved back here to Florida, I like needed some furniture, and I went there because it's so cheap. But the like, 
flip side of it is that I think they're like Jehovah's Witness or something. They're like very, they're pretty. Are they Mormon? Christian. Maybe they're Mormon. I don't know what it is, but when you walk inside there, they have a whole fucking collection of those like little comic book pamphlets or whatever yeah and not even realizing what they were i was like just pawing through them because i was like what are these because my monkey brain just sees little like ooh comics like yes like drawings (laughs) and they're actually good drawings they kind of have that like r crumb like yes yeah yeah style and i was like oh this is these are kind of cool and i'm flipping through and they're all about like jesus and i'm like oh I ended, up po- I ended up pocketing a few of them because I was like, the, I kind of just want to like have these. I don't know where they are now, but uh, yeah, I do. I have seen them. I think that's the only place I've seen them before, though. But they had a bunch of them, like 40 different ones. Pretty Damn. Cool. How do we get that dude on the podcast who draws those? I think he's dead by now. I'm <laughs> assuming. He? I could be crazy. But, what are they uh, called? Chick tracks? Chick tracks, I'm pretty sure. But dude, I'll, I'll mail you mine. I should have it somewhere unless I threw it away. But uh we can whip one of those up. It'll be crispy. Uh, yes, he is dead. Oh, yes. Chick track. Chick chick tracks. What am I saying? What is the T R A C T? Yeah, yeah. T R A C T. Okay. He's an American cartoonist and publisher, best known for he was an American cartoonist and publisher, <laughs> best known for his <laughs> fundamentalist Christian. Oh, okay, okay. So it's fundamentalist. It's like a proto Ben Garrison a little bit. Kind of. Yeah. I'm trying wait, I kinda wanna Google some chick tracks. Let's see. This one says, This was your life. They're very dramatic. Like, what is this even? What does some of these mean? Wait, these are kind of funny. Yeah, dude, they're so good, bro. They're so good until like you could totally see this and enjoy them until you realize the guy is like completely serious. Yeah. With some of the stuff. Like I thought it was a joke at first. So I was like, oh, and then I was like, wait, dude, I'm looking, at a, I'm looking at a crazy one right now that looks like a, well, I, I, I think it might be the devil, but it actually just looks like a racist Jewish caricature. So and the devil, that's, that's what he looks devil. like. I've seen him. That's what and he looks like. And he's holding this gnarled finger up and putting his hand on somebody's shoulder. And he's saying, look, buddy, a prostate exam is something everybody has to do. Now, no, no way, dude. Happy <laughs> that has to be a fake one. What? It's like, are they arguing that getting a prostate exam is anti-Christian? I guess it kind of is. Dude, there's some sects of Christianity that just have, I mean, this one isn't even that weird because there's people who aren't Christian that believe this, but there's like, there's sections of Christianity that have weird beliefs where like the tattoo thing, like if you get a tattoo, you're going to hell Mm -hmm. or like, uh, yeah, like the prostate exam thing. I'm sure that's like, is real for some people. That shit is so weird to me, dude. Dude, I, I live in Utah right now. Mm-hmm. So oh, that's like, crisp. That's cool. There's Mormon Mormons nation everywhere. Yeah. Really? It's so weird. Yeah, they like knock on my door all the time. Oh, do right. they do that stuff too? Yeah, it's oh, so word. fucking annoying. They're like, they all do the same fucking knock. I worked door to door like sales for a while too. Oh, so baller, they're like trying bro. to yeah. use these like door to door tactics. They're like, can we just get your number? I'm like, no, no. I'm not interested. <laughs> and then they get kind of angry at a certain point. Do they actually like, shut the door? Some of them. Are Most they, of them are pretty chill. Uh, are they younger? Is this something they'd make like the younger guys do or it's all ages? Yeah, no. So what happens in the Mormon church is after high school, typically you have to do a mission for two years. Oh, damn. Which basically like you don't have access. You don't really have your phone or anything. Like you can email your family every once in a while. I don't know all the ins and outs, so I don't want to, like, fuck that up. But, yeah, so they just, like, literally all day, every day, are just, like, spreading the word of God or whatever. And you can and, do like, it in town or you have to travel? You can do either. So the okay. rich people travel. The rich people, like, go to Africa and, like... Well, that's, like, what Book of Mormon is about. They go to Africa to spread the word of God. Christianity, right? yes. It's kind, of, it's kind of fucked oh, up. Oh, no, Book... Yeah, it is Book. It's Mormon. Book of Mormon. Yeah, I'm so yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, we don't even. Yeah, we don't really get. Je- you know what? It's funny. I don't think there's Jehovah's Witnesses out here in Florida because I think it's just too fucking hot. I think like <laughs> nobody can go outside. But we did have. There was a period of time because I live actually kind of close to a, uh, like a Chinese church. I guess that what you call it. It's like a church, but all the it's all in Chinese. 
like Confucianism? Or no, no, I think it is. Like it is called a Chinese church. Yeah, that's that's the official like, name. Okay, because it because it's like, yeah. But anyway, like we had a while ago, there was some people knocking on the door that were trying to, like, they were trying to get us to join the church, but it wasn't a very good sales pitch because it didn't really. They had really thick accents. And they I, they weren't properly articulating like why I should join the church, and I was just like, "You really want me? Like, what am I gonna do in a Chinese church? How am I going to like? What, what am I gonna do there?" Yeah, it was just it was a it was a non-starter. It was just not gonna happen. Uh, all that dude, you could have taken over, bro. That, dude, I, Kyle, I can't even believe that you were doing the door-to-door salesman shit. I would just be like, "You doing the knives?" Yeah, what no, were you selling? I was selling so. I'd like set up appointments for people to like get roofing and stuff. Oh okay. word! I've heard, so yeah, it was like I've a little more this. legitimate, that's, but like that's still like way more legit. Yeah, it was still like a we were breaking the law constantly because you have to have a permit to go to door to door, and we didn't buy those, so we just went like we went into HOAs and stuff, and like then we get chased out by the cops. Oh, but, for real? Yeah, it was. They would get weird. called on you, or they would just see. Oh, if they saw us walking around, they'd like be like, "Go away!" I remember one kid got arrested for it. Oh, for hey, real? Really? Yeah, it was. It was super crazy. Like there was like a whole thing with it too. Like the kid's fine now, but like the company had to pay a bunch of shit for it, and it was Holy just like shit. a huge. That's pain. fucked, dude. Yeah, we had like this crackhead working there too, who was like the owner's like friend from high school. But oh, every, classic. like, two years, he'd get out of prison, and he'd come start working for us. And then he'd break into the office after, like, three weeks of working there and steal all the money in the safe. Bro. And get arrested the next what? night. Dude, Dude it's, that how, is how do they so keep, fucked. <laughs> how do they keep hiring this guy? It's like, all right, you already stole from the safe one time, but we're going to throw you back in there. And if it happens again, this time for real, we're not hiring you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the dude was like, the guy who owned it was like hyper conservative. So like, I think he believed that like the jail system just like made him not an addict, I guess. So it'd be like, he's good now. He made mistakes in the past. And then he'd just do the same thing. That is crazy, man. Yeah. When it's I was like there, he did it like the same time. Jesus, Jesus Christ, dude um yeah dude that's fucking wild yo also kyle i see that jay dilla donuts vinyl behind you. oh yeah that is? yeah i finally yeah. was able to parse what i was looking at i was like oh that's fucking sick that's a good <laughs> vinyl to have dude is that's that a, like one of my favorite albums is it a black midi poster up on you up on the wall there or what am i looking at on the wall that oh one? that that's yeah. just koalas oh okay oh, oh hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's dope it looks like hell the yeah. koala from the diaper changing station a little bit oh yeah, maybe it's just like Australian. Oh, shit. Nice. I think I, I don't really know. It says I heart Australia. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Bro, what were your uh cuz uh, you were saying you could tell they were doing some like scammy type shit when they were coming door to door cuz I was listening to one podcast where it sounded like the guy was doing exactly what you're do you were doing but they said his number one scam was they would say you know, they'd knock on the door and say, "Hey, we were in the area doing work," even oh, though yeah. they were not. Was that a go-to? That's a go-to. I mean, usually you want to go somewhere where you are doing work so you can point at it. But right. like, you just go anywhere. You're like, hey, yeah, yeah. You, you you pull up, you like a block away, you find an address. Is there like, a team right. of you? It's it's just you. It was so it, there was like a team of like three of us usually when I worked there. And like it was kind of alternating. Like sometimes it would just be me. Sometimes there would be like one or two other people. And then like other times there was a supervisor, which sucked because usually what I would do is I'd go in early and like just answer the phones and get like three sales in the morning. Oh, hell yeah. And then just like they'd be like, all right, go here. I'm like, no, I want to go like 40 minutes away. So I drive 40 minutes away and just like go to a thrift shop or something and come back and be like, yeah, dude, that's so bro. (laughs) My last job where I was supposed to be delivering alcohol and shit, there'd be a bunch of uh times where i do the delivery but then i would just go to the record store or target and just chill yeah. for like 30 or 40 minutes because <laughs> oh, like clutch. the further away they sent you the more it was like yeah i hit some pretty bad traffic on the yeah. i-95 it took no, me three hours 
that's i was just like yeah i don't know what to tell you man (laughs) (laughs) dude that's fucking wild i don't i'm trying to think i don't think i've ever had a job where i was actually like actively delivering i hate it bro i hate uh especially because for this one i had to drive i didn't mind the u-haul vans they're roughly the size of like a suburban kind of just long Mm -hmm. but when you have to drive like big ass box trucks Mm-hmm. For like deliveries and shit, I dude, all I can think about is like accidentally hitting someone or like them hitting this oh thing, and I'm God. like, dude, I'm gonna get fired. Like I freaked out about <laughs> that shit so much, dude. Did did you did that ever happen where you hit somebody? No, but uh, this is semi related. But I was telling my buddy this, Daphne's sister's boyfriend. We went and got lunch with them, and I was telling him that story. And uh, when I first met this guy, first of all, when he moved to L.A., he was like, his first gig he was doing, you guys had that shit near you where if you order from the grocery store, someone will go pick it up and bring it to you? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. grocery delivery. He, sure. he had to drive a big grocery truck. He showed me the picture, but he hit someone's car. Dude, squished it in two and then uh, literally just drove away. And I was like, damn, bro, like, what the fuck? But then I see him oh, again. <laughs> Dude, just totally drove away and did not get in trouble. And then I see him again like a year later and he's like, dude, you got to see this and shows me a, another totaled car. And I'm like, dude, what happened? And he's like, dude, I was driving the company car. I'm shit faced. Oh and like I God. go into the wrong lane and hit someone. But then I convinced the cop it was her fault. They didn't know I was <laughs> drunk. Isn't this dope? And I was just like, even though I know I should have been like, bro, you got to be more careful. I was like, bro, you were the king of fucking Wait, like. The- hit and run survival like that is insane how the fuck did he He was like dude i was smashed i was like dude what that's so fucking crazy bro but apparently the company was like because he didn't get in trouble with the law they were like all right you're not in trouble but you can no longer use company cars which (laughs) that seems fair that That kind of seems seems very fair I, dude, I I will say it is like a skill, like you know, in a video game, how it's like, ooh, forty points in luck, or with something like yeah. that. It is a skill to be able to be drunk but not seem drunk to other people. Like that is like, but I think that's like natural born. I don't think it's. Bro, like I'm practice. getting I'm getting better at the past like seven podcasts. I have been shit faced, dude. The- <laughs> Bro, I've been getting someone got mad at me for talking about this on a podcast a long time ago, but I've gotten so good at drunk driving to the point dude, where like I, I black got out. You. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Bro, but it's dude, I black out and I wake up and I'm home and I'm like I, dude, dude that's Chris. That like, is not Chris. That's Chris. That's bro. insane. No, it's I, dangerous. Uh, Don't do it unless you're unless you join the Cold Cuts Patreon launching next month. Then you're allowed to whatever. drunk drive. I'm gonna. I'll post a, a how to. Oh, how to. God. Yeah, I'll walk you guys through. <laughs> you walk yeah. through it. Um, I uh, yeah, my brother gets pissed at me because he says that even when I get really drunk, I don't seem drunk, and he's just like, dude, why can't you just get shit face and just act shit face and i'm like i don't know what that means like once you feel... like flail your arms yeah, like, and be silly yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's like i i haven't um i've only ever blacked out one time like i don't really i usually know when to stop when i'm like because i've gotten too drunk more times than i can count but like you have to be at a certain point where you're just like oh dude i'm like gone right now like yeah it's like night night and then yeah that that's only happened to me one time but uh, dude that would be a great term if if we were back in the south when racism was extremely prevalent like for if a southern guy had a, a crush on like a black chick yeah mikey's blacking out bro you know i feel like that would be uh no stupid uh, <laughs> i'm blaming that on the tequila i thought that was a good term have you seen the uh you know the video of trisha paytas where she's like meditating and people are throwing tequilas at her? <laughs> yes, dude i saw that yesterday <laughs> that's like that's like that was convincingly oh oh i think we lost harris you're still here though right yeah, I'm still yeah. Here. All right. All right. I'll tell Harris to rejoin. Dude, <laughs> this is makes me so happy because uh I never know whose fault it is when his shit cuts out, but this this confirms it for me. This confirms I was it worried it me. was me. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Bro, do you uh you're 21, you said, right? Yeah. 
Bro, do you are you a big drinker, heavy into it? I drink from like on weekends, I guess. Yeah, that's the move, bro. Yeah. One hundred percent. Is that weird? Uh this is so embarrassing, don't judge me, but my girlfriend was making me watch uh Real Housewives of Salt Lake City or something. Mm-hmm. Is that that's like the big Mormon place, right? Yeah, that's and where it, I that's where I am right now. Oh, that's yeah. where you are, dude. Yeah, it they were making it sound like there's not a lot of places that serve alcohol. Is it like that? Yeah. So the bars you can't have over five percent in grocery stores. For real? Yeah. Damn. So like it used to be three point two percent. So I'm a senior now in college, but freshman year it was like three point two percent alcohol for all the beer. So Did you guys get, ever like smuggle stuff in? I mean, like, we could, like, drive to Wyoming, but nobody really had, like, cars yet or anything. Word. So it was kind of like you just, like, drank a lot more. Oh, so, hell like, yeah. 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 So I'm, like, from Chicago. So I'd, like, go home for Christmas in Chicago. I'd be like, yeah, I'm just going to, like, smash, like, eight of these. <laughs> and then I'm, like, fucked up after four. And I'm yeah, like, just, like, oh. blackout shit-faced. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah like, I would be fucked up, bro. Sorry guys, my internet is literally Dude, just I'm just like I'm so glad it confirmed it for me that it is yours. No, it is definitely my internet. It's like I, I think that uh Yeah, I don't fucking know. But anyway, I just got I got a message just on Instagram that somebody was like, This should be the next cold cuts guest, and it's this guy. Have you seen him? Dude, he sent me yeah. the same message. Did he really? Yes, dude. <laughs> Who is that do, guy? Do you guys watch Channel 5 news or like All Gas, No Breaks? Yeah. I, I've I mean, seen All Gas, I've No Breaks. I've seen a few of them, yeah. So like that's like their new video, but he's like this like sex coach, I guess. Oh, hell yeah, is he, But is he joking? Because I've seen his videos and it seems like it's not real. No, I, I'm pretty sure it like is real. He's like, like I think Israel. Israel. Yeah, he's it's like, Israel. He's he's drinking his own pee in a lot of the videos. Like that's like his thing. Where yeah. he's just like, and it, and it's literally like he's pissing into the cup on. Like he's not filming himself pissing into the cup, but he's talking and he's like, yeah, I was really thinking about just. And then he just like pulls it up and he's like, I how much how good I feel like after drinking a glass of piss and I'm like, dude, there's people just- that finish like are you dong out right now while you were like recording this video i don't know oh bro you should be used to me talking to you when i'm shitting on the phone then <laughs> oh, like, yeah, you've yeah. already seen that That's video right. dude there's a lot of people who believe in that because i remember the first time i saw it was the did you see that are you familiar with nathan for you yeah of course yeah. there's that episode where he's talking to the gas station owner guy <laughs> and it somehow gets on the topic of he's like i when i am afraid when you are afraid drink some pee from a baby it will make you not afraid or whatever and he's like what are you talking yeah. about but uh i don't know how i got on the topic of it with my mom but she was like yeah your grandma and aunt used to do that and i was like like i what what, what the <laughs> fuck are you what? talking about it's like it's the first time that i saw nathan like break character like lit dude on. yes like he's literally like, what <laughs> are you talking to about <laughs> Oh, it's so good. The guy's <laughs> accent makes it so much better, too, though. He's like, <laughs> it's just like... He's like, I drink my grandson's pee. Yeah, it will like, make you not make afraid. <laughs> or whatever. Like, like, what? <laughs> that concept's also so funny to me, being like a grown man, and instead of using the word anxious, using the word, like, afraid. Okay. Like, I'm mentioning, I'm like, <laughs> just like, getting scared of his surroundings for no I reason. I love that. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Down to seven minutes, 30 seconds, boys. This kind of looks yeah. like piss. It does. I'm not drinking my piss. Is that your I grandson's confirm. piss? Yeah. My grandson's you've been, like, pee. you've been like pulling it up too, so like it doesn't really like. That's good. Like... Yeah, I know it could easily could be. Yeah. I'm very afraid right also, now. I'm very just the afraid. fact that you're drinking it out of that miso soup looking like Tupperware. Dude, another thing I stole from work. Bro, this is the coolest thing I stole from work. Let me see. Baby, I feel like a white lady with my little Polaroid oh. camera. <laughs> those things are dope, though. I love those little fucking Polaroids. Dude, we did a, uh, I think it was like a Minions one that we did, and it like had the sticker on of like the. This was like the Minions eye. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I should have taken that one to be quite honest. <laughs> I should have taken the Minion one. Um, dude, I swear we had a second question for our, our sweetie boy Kyle. When we were talking during the break, but what was I, uh, gonna say? We were, I know the first one was hater stuff. Yeah, or also weird comments. We were talking about that shit too. Yeah, uh, people used to think my so like I used to like uh, narrate over my comics when I first uh-huh. started out, and people would be like, "Your voice is so sexy," 
and like this is like a consistent <laughs> bro hell yeah and Dudes like, I'm, chicks. I'm, I'm, like both no oh, hey just hey, everybody baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was like a weird thing where everyone was like i just come back for the sound of your voice and it's like at first i thought it was like just kind of a joke and then it kind of like became a thing where it was like a little weird and i was like all right i'm gonna stop putting my voice in these. <laughs> no, dude, you should have played it up that's when you put should have put on the satin glove exactly yeah. yes make Welcome it like back. super this super 100 percent, dude <laughs> that's great but you were uh, narrating like over them or you were reading the like comic voice bubble? Acting. i was like reading the comic bubble okay where i thought you were doing like director's commentary like i drew the this one this i was way. thinking yeah. <laughs> that's great yeah. well did you feel like you is this your first time showing your face on camera like have people seen not you technically or? in a permanent sense yeah where it's like it's not just like gonna go down I th- it's on my tiktok somewhere but like that's impossible to find i feel that Dude, cold really cuts get- find it find it and post it okay we gotta get on tiktok well the other, the other crazy thing about tiktok that like i just don't understand how people blow up on it is like there's no like retweet or share function on there so like- there is now oh there is yeah it's like really shitty but there is one now it's like i feel like you're kind of at the well i guess up until they just added that it's like you're really at the whim of like the algorithm well that's why it's so important for like the tags on tiktok right i I, the one i don't understand and every time i try to get into tiktok i have someone explain it to me is the the ftp one have you heard of that harris no it's fyp fyp FYP. yeah yeah Yeah, what is what is up with that for your pleasure no, it's for you, Page. For you, Page. For your okay. pleasure. For your yeah, pleasure. I was like, huh. Yeah. Uh, so what? That's like it posts it for everyone if you tag it on that. It just puts it on the explore essentially. Okay. Like I don't think it actually works. Like I think it's just like kind of like a myth where it's like some like big creator was like, if you put FYP, it's gonna be like promoted. But oh, word. Okay. It's just like a popular hashtag. So it's like one of those things where it's like. If you do hashtag art and you get like a ton of likes from it for some reason, you're going to be at the top of like hashtag art and it's going to like promote your stuff to people who look at art stuff. Interesting. So it's like more of just like kind of a chance thing of like if your video starts to do well, it'll kind of like perpetuate into becoming like a, I I hate to say viral video, but that. That kind of is it. Yeah. Does it, it like, I feel like TikTok is like the last remaining like, I feel like hashtags everywhere else are, like, dead and buried. Like, I don't see anybody ha- – nobody hashtags on Twitter. I never see people hashtag. I, dude, I yeah. cringe when I see them on I, Twitter I and Instagram. I mean, when Twitter's I on, the one who made it, too. I know. That's what's crazy. Thing. And then – and now it's, like, on Instagram, if you hashtag something on there, it's pretty much just, like, oh, let me just leave the screen door open so all of these bots can come show up at my post and just be, like – Oh, DM us, promote us, send us, DM this page. Show this Bob. Page. Like, what is this shit? Like, why? Like, I don't understand how Instagram hasn't dealt with the fucking bot situation. It's terrible. Dude, because the bots generate not only like, because like when they're talking to their advertisers, they want the bots because it's like, yeah, we get like five bajillion engagements a day and five billion people see your stuff as opposed to like if they gave the real numbers, it would be like one eighth. Yeah. of that like without the fucking bot shit bro like it's true it's, it's so crazy. so fucked dude i remember when my roomie was trying to get into uh we kind of like started at the same time he was doing rap and i was doing comics but he was like dude you gotta do what i'm doing like this thing you pay in and it'll give you like 10k followers oh. and engagement and i was like oh, i guess that sounds kind of cool until you go to the page and that's like what you said harris like buy my jewelry or like this is so beautiful and it's like what you, this is a song what do you mean this is beautiful yeah, like, like it just stuff that doesn't make sense or whatever like i guess dude, that technically makes sense ha, but I, have you seen this um so i know i know we're running out of time but really quick they're like the only good reddit page that exists is it's like completely simulated like it's only ai communicating with AI. <laughs> oh that's pretty <laughs> dope. Dude, i'm gonna send it to you but it's literally like it will it'll be an ai generated image or just a picture that's like completely random pulled from the internet and then all of the comments are other bots that are just like replying to it that are generated procedurally from what other redditors are saying and it's like there's 
one that I saved that was so funny that was just like a, it was literally just a picture of like an empty chair like on a webcam just like like in an empty room and the comment was just like like you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. <laughs> like perfect tits perfect body beautiful face like i wish like something like and i was just like what the fuck is going on such a good it's like the only page on reddit that's like still good i highly recommend it i gotta check it out bro um, kyle thank you for coming on we were down to the last minute but uh we definitely got to bring you on again when i'm not sick and on tylenol because i are nyquil i feel like i'm like in space right now bro <laughs> dude, but uh yeah. hopefully we didn't scare you off with our lack of uh intelligence any any production value <laughs> oh i mean i'm there's just an empty room behind me so it's, no it's beautiful um, quick before we get cut out tell people where can they follow you on Instagram? yeah plug yourself uh mate. kyle's county on instagram and tiktok i guess if you want to do that and i also have twitter, handle? twitter it's kyle's county kyle's county i'm following right now Hell i'm following yeah. right now all right great episode um, boys yeah thank you for having me give I us uh give us a joke to end on kyle Ah... Uh...